Okay, so um, if we're trying to achieve a, a real elegant style of singing beautifully, as in Belcantismo, the most famous of all terms to describe the way Italian operas are meant to be sung, we have to try and get a smooth legato, and there's, there's two forms of legato. There has to be smoothness in the tone, and also smoothness in the diction, in order to get a pure legato. Because this legato, I could be going, Caro mio ben, right? And yet, and, and I didn't break the vibration of my voice. It, was, it went through all the syllables on one breath, on one vibration. But if we listen to it, it wasn't pure legato because the vibration was shaky. So I broke the law of smoothness in the tone. Um, if I'm going, um, Caro mio ben, right? Now I'm breaking the law of the smoothness of the diction. So if consonants come out punching vowel sounds, because you've got to remember, it's like con consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. So when the consonant comes and touches the vowel, it's meant to caress and the vowel takes off. It's not meant to bump it and then the vowel moves on. Do you understand? So if I go, caro mio be, mm -hmm. that's punching the vowel, mm -hmm. okay? But if I'm going, caro mio be, right, so we're, now we're getting a real sort of level consonant and a level vowel. They're the same volume level, they touch each other, but they don't bump into each other, okay? So we want to make sure we get I that. I said Samaris. <laughs> yep, Amarilia. So let's see if we can do that with the same vowel shape formation. So go nice and slow. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that you're supporting. So take an, firstly a breath across, okay? You fill up fully the chest. Okay? Go. Let's do that with the piano.